Hello, and welcome to day 145 of Dungeon 23, the series where we make a Room of Omega dungeon every day for a year. Today we're doing a bit of a gag skeleton, and it's based on a suggestion from one of my D&D players, and we're just going to put him in this room right here, adjacent to these guys. And the bit was that during World War I, there was a ceasefire on Christmas where the Germans and the Americans, or the Germans and the French, or whoever it was were fighting, the Germans and some other people, uh, stopped fighting each other and played soccer. And seeing how this floor is all based around conflict and fighting and all that crap, here's a soccer player. I was going to draw a little soccer ball for him, but it took me an hour and a half to draw one, and it never looked good, so I just said screw it. So he just has a little jersey and a little headband. Which the party will probably want to steal because D&D players love stealing clothes off of dead NPCs. So what this guy does is he's identical to a normal skeleton with, of course, the following exceptions. Its dexterity is 17 for a plus 3 instead of just a plus 2. Its speed is 40 feet instead of 30, so it moves a bit faster. It does not have a short sword or short bow, but it does have a soccer ball, which just kicks into people's faces. And it is a soccer ball of returning. It does a d6 bludgeoning damage, its range is 1560, and it returns to the attuned user at the end of its turn. I like to imagine it kind of always kind of hovers around by the, uh, the person's foot. So you could have your like weapons in your hands, and you just have the soccer ball in the field, and you just kick it at someone's head. And uh, you don't have to worry about swapping your weapons. Maybe it'd work better as like a bonus action attack. That might be a bit too good. I don't know. We'll multi-attack for fighters. It'll be alright. But it's there for you to kick into the face of your opponents. A little bit of bludgeoning damage. And you never have to worry about losing it because it always comes back to you. Also, it's magical, so that's good. So it overcomes resistances. And I just have that attack down here, so it's easy to reference. Just plus four to hit. Same range as a normal weapon. Because it's just a weapon. And then a d6 plus 2 bludgeon damage. I want it to be more like a strength based ranged weapon because you're kicking it instead of being more accurate with it. But I don't want this guy to have no damage so he could uh, still do it. It's more of a gag thing anyway so he's probably not going to be so difficult anyway. But it's fun. Just a fun little skeleton guy to who's going to, I guess, kick a soccer ball into the face of your, uh, your party. So yeah, this is the room. It's very simple. And if you want to see more wacky skeleton shenanigans and even wacky goblin shenanigans or wacky other creatures that I've been using or reusing, then uh, consider liking this video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications, all that stuff that makes this video show up in your recommendations more often. Or you could always just come back tomorrow because as I said at the start, this is a daily challenge. These videos are going to come out every day at the same time, whether you like them to or not. So yeah, thanks for watching and or listening. I apologize for the poor quality. It's not going to get any better.